Game off. Welcome to Treefall Academy of Majory and Sorcery, the Summer Session, the Payback Adventure. Each day, until the close of your adventure, a new video will be uploaded to this playlist. Your future slime will be able to view these records each night and may rewatch any of the videos at any point by asking your slime counselors to pull them up. The purpose of these videos is to provide important whodunit clues about the villain and to help guide your interrogations for the following day. Today and tomorrow's skit in particular will help ground you in the story to come. It will allow you to start to get to know the staff characters that will be in your particular slime, as well as provide a recap of what has happened so far in the Treefold Academy saga. Our journey now begins. Game on. Through their hard work and resourcefulness, last year's students managed to successfully secure the replacement hearthstone. They had diligently searched through the ruins of a certain Scottish castle that long ago had hosted Treefold Academy of Majory and Sorcery before the Westgard bloodline had destroyed it in retribution. We now return to the formerly abandoned castle located in Norway that has been serving as the Academy's home these past few years. As it draws closer to the start of a new term, the faculty descend upon the castle to prepare it for the inbound student body. They didn't dare to arrive too soon, lest their presence attract unwanted attention from the mage hunters still at large. The mage hunters have continued to grow bold in the escalating war between mages and mudains. However, to arrive too late would mean that the castle would not be fully repaired in time for the hearthstone to be installed. And without the hearthstone, there would be no protective ward around the castle to keep their students, as well as themselves, safe from attack. In recognition that there was still a lot of work that needed to be done before the hearthstone could be installed, the faculty have opted to break into smaller teams to accomplish the various tasks. This particular group of faculty was tasked with making sure that the walls wouldn't come crashing down again, as well as hauling various totes to different points located in the castle. Do we still have the hearthstone? This is the 15th time you have asked that in the past 30 minutes. She's avoiding the question. Y'all, come on, give it a rest. Seriously, though. Do we still have it? Yes, it is still in my pack. Besides, it is Friday, not Sunday. If it was Sunday, then we'll have been in trouble. Or Thursday. I said I was sorry for that. Besides, the moral of last year was to always make sure you securely put away items that you steal. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. And why do I feel like we are doomed before we even begin? Because you've been around long enough to know better. Do you... Do you still have the Hearthstone? And about how long are you still going to be asking that question? Until it's safely installed, and then I'll only ask it twice an hour. I'm sure the students wouldn't naively accept random presents from the West Guards and activate them. That's not quite what brought down the protective shields three years ago. Remind me? Well, alright here. I'm going to lay this down for you. Uh, the students had encountered a scouting party of our arch nemesis, West Guard. After defeating them in battle, they found a techno who's a what shit magical device along with a diary. The students thought activating it would protect the castle from possible errands. In reality, it was a trap to bring down our security within. The West Guards then betrayed our location to the Mage Hunters. We are very fortunate that the Academy managed to withstand the siege. It was a close call. Too close. There's a reason this castle was abandoned and its presence concealed from the outside world. If the Arids had managed to reach the lowest floor, then they would have gotten too close to the Riftcraft lab. Wait, Riftcraft? Isn't that illegal? You are asking that? Of all people? You do realize that does not mean automatic permission. No. No as in you don't realize, or no as in you refuse to believe that it doesn't? Yes. You are just as bad as our Izzy ship. I 
We'll take that as a compliment. We're talking about the same group that believes in wholesome arson. Answering the original question, since questions should be answered, Riftcraft is a highly dangerous branch of magic because it involves opening portals to other worlds. And if a portal is not totally open securely... Yes, yes, lots of bad things happen. Understatement of this century. If an anchored rift is like using a doorway, then an unanchored rift is like a... a what's that one song with the bowling and the bulldoze? Anywho, like bulldozing one's way through a wall and a house to make a door. It can bring the whole house down anyways the lab was the reason why we had to stand our ground and prevent the arids from reaching it their ability to cancel out magic would have destroyed the world tree the barrier that keeps all the worlds separate isn't the world tree dying it's on the to-do list i mean save it i'm not a west guard i don't want the world tree to die it would cause an interworld war. There's a reason we had to heavily remodel the castle. If something happens where the hearthstone fails, our enemies won't automatically know where they're going. Thank you, East, for teaching Ash how to use mundane discord. We'll remove the potion of glory? No, 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 no. This is something far worse. Breaking news. In response to last night's robbery, the International Confederacy of Matri has taken the unprecedented step and has now delivered an ultimatum to Trevo Academy of Matri and Sorcery for gifted young mages. The students now have only eight days to return the Hiru cipher that was stolen from the Westgard vault. Failure to comply will result in the Academy's charter being permanently revoked and the Academy subsequently disbanded. Is this the beginning of the end for what was once an illustrious school for gifted young mages? I didn't do it. I certainly didn't do it. Well, the International Confederacy of Majory certainly thinks that one of us did, or they wouldn't have issued the ultimatum to the students to sick them on us. Well, East says she didn't do it. Ash isn't saying anything. Does she ever say anything? Well, she's typing. Wow, that's a lot of symbols. Apparently she needs to find a new phone to access the staff's Discord server. Apparently someone on the faculty team took an unauthorized trip and went shopping in the West Guard vault without her. And whoever went left behind the incriminating evidence that the West Guards discovered. And he's just warning her to not break any more of her phones. You know how serious it is when she's choosing to ignore that comment. The West Guards are the ones who snitched on us to the International Confederacy of Majory, which is why they're demanding we turn the stolen property. For a chaotic evil group, that's a pretty lawful evil maneuver. But only the copy of Hero Cipher that we have is the version that we found. Golly gee, they are using the law to try and get a hold of our copy. Aren't all the versions the same? Not quite. Three versions are almost identical, except for at least one critical element that throws off the rest of the instructions. No one is sure which one is the correct one. Hirovet gave one version to her bloodline, one version to her forbidden love, Mattis Westgard, and one copy was hidden away. That last copy was the one the Academy found. So what's the big deal? Why don't we just... Make a replica of our copy, tweak a few things, and give them that instead. Well, we don't know exactly how each of the versions are different. The West Guards will be able to tell, though, and use that against us. Furthermore, we are talking about the instructions on how to operate a Doomsday device. I'm not comfortable giving them any of that information. Remember, the World Tree is dying because the Doomsday device was activated once already. It wouldn't survive another activation, which is what the West Guards want. Then why would her make three copies to begin with? Apparently she figured out what the mistake was from the first time, so the device can be used in many different ways. However, if you had a device that could destroy the world, bend it to your will, or save it, would you trust that type of unlimited power to just anyone? 
There were multiple parties demanding the instructions. We will have to figure out what is more important to her, devotion to one's love, obligations to one's kin, or ethical responsibility to strangers. Uh, given all the conflicting affiliations that we have, Ash feels it is best that we use the Magical Eye Detective Agency to analyze any collected evidence. A request has been sent to the International Confederacy of Majory for copies. Meanwhile, the students will be tasked to hunt for additional clues once they arrive. Staff are being asked to stay in our current groups to ensure no one slips away. So we are now all stuck with each other? She's promising to get out the duct tape and handcuffs if she needs to. Well, that sounds like yes to me. In lieu of normal classes, we need to deal with this threat after we secure the castle. It's our top priority. We can't let the West Guards win. If we don't find the missing cipher and who stole it, then we will be forced to give them ours, or our charter is revoked. It is because of that charter that we have a form of diplomatic immunity. Without the charter, the West Guards would be able to dictate what the Academy does since they control the government. Well then, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, first we need to finalize the remodeling before the Hearthstone is activated. So do you still have the Hearthstone? Yes. On the bright side, we don't have to move the castle another two inches this time like we usually did. Has anyone seen the Wonders of the Black Lake Tote? Pretty sure it's in the Great Hall? Time to get back to work.